It's all over WeChat. And many people are having hard times figuring out as to when they used to eat khofan before and then they realize that the food they didn't finish has to go into one pile of rubbish and, and the boxes have to go to the other. So yeah, it's a bit confusing. Okay, used batteries. We had its own category. The batteries you have to dispose of in its own way. Full skin. I think I can put it on a regular garbage. Plastic bottles, it goes with plastic. We have uh, garbage for plastic in Canada also. Uh, drink cans, that's recyclable. Plastic bottles, that's recyclable. Uh, flowers is green waste. Or cigarettes, that's, uh, I don't know. Used batteries, that's a special uh, category in the US called hazardous waste. Leftover food. That's what we would call regular garbage. Either goes down the garbage disposal. People compost. Some people. Bones would be, uh, again, regular waste that would go in the landfill or compost pile. Flowers. I don't know if there's a category. It's organic one. Like you can keep it in the garden. It's a, it's not gonna harm anything. I heard some people talking about it, but I don't know much about it. If someone does it wrong, it takes a photo of them. It's a good thing because the world is really polluted these days and we need to act on it, not just talk about it. I haven't seen one yet, uh, but I think it's a good idea, really. It's great, but it's just really difficult. It may take a long time for people to get used to it. It's good, something like governments around the world do need to take strong action. It's good that they're trying something. We'll see if it, at first nobody understands the system. It might take some time for people to understand. But once there's been enough time, then there's no excuse anymore. And then, yeah. I think it's an excellent idea. It's different. I'd have to think more about it. But it doesn't sound bad. It's a good idea. I know this is probably about the new rule in China where you have to classify the garbage. But honestly, uh, we didn't reach that level yet. I don't. I don't think we have. It's not that detailed. Maybe in Moscow, I think they have some kind of um, regulations there. Recycling waste. Recycling waste and one uh, for wasted uh, garbage, trash. There's no use of it. Um, and one for the cans. One for the many birches. And I saw it here every like. 200 meters you have uh, trash cans with the recycling, non-recycling, it's very good. Well, we have three different things. Green is green waste, yellow is recyclable, red, non-recyclable. It's glass, paper, plastic, and uh, food. We have five. Five, right. Yeah. We classify it by uh, paper, then we have uh, like boxes, we have uh, like leftover foods, and we have uh, regular garbage. But if you don't do it at home, yeah, you have a fee. We have to pay like $50. We have to put some uh, recycling uh, things in uh, some specific bags, also things like waste, uh, regular waste uh, things put in the trash. There's recyclable, and then in the US, the rest of it goes to what we call landfills, which are big holes in the ground. And you fill it up with garbage, and it makes methane <laughs> uh, from trees and grass clippings from mowing the lawn, things like that, natural. But in the U.S. there's not a national policy. Yeah. Each city does it their own way, and right. they're similar, but they're not identical. They give you a recycle bin. There's no fines whether you use it or not, but almost everybody I used to put the recyclable items in the recycle bin, the garbage item in the garbage bin, and they hold the hazardous waste for it. a once or twice a year hazardous waste pickup. And we rely on the citizens to do that, and they do it. 